doctors wearing face masks for 10 hours, even more. They wear those masks all day, every day. They are heroes, okay? Doctors, nurses, anyone in healthcare right now, you guys are the real ones. Good job. And freaking Karen's wearing masks for five minutes, five seconds, or even being asked to wear a mask. Like, girl, calm down. You're acting like someone just asked you to eat poop. Like, chill. You think it's bad wearing a mask for like 30 minutes tops in a grocery store? Calm down. You have no idea. It's really not that bad. <laughs> When you're an adult and now you have to go to the doctors alone. I hate that. I hate making doctor's appointments. I call and I'm like, hi, I need an appointment. And they're like, okay, what's the problem? And I'm just like, I, I don't know. Can you call my mom? <laughs> I hate social interaction. I hate being an adult. It sucks. Everyone expects you to just speak for yourself. Like, no, I want my mommy to do it. <laughs> I'm shy. I don't know what's wrong. My tummy hurts. Literally, that's how I look. I'm just like, my tummy hurts. Can you fix me? I don't know what the problem is. That's why I came here. When life been good to you for too long, been good for a few days, and you get a little sus now. You're like, hmm. I don't know, things been a little too good lately. I don't trust none of you. I got my eye on you. <laughs> got the squinty eyes. <laughs> like, just chill, enjoy it for a little bit. I think when you start getting anxious, that's when you self-sabotage and then life kind of turns to crap. When someone you don't know supports you in an argument online. <laughs> that's such a good feeling. It's like, we're strangers, but we agree. Like, back me up, sis. Are we best friends now? besties especially if it's like arguing with a karen like girl i got you i will back you up i don't know who you are but i got you i want y'all to know when i was a little kid i was obsessed with spongebob same even as an adult so my native grandma wove this rug for me that is so sweet but it's so creepy like it's pretty accurate she did a great job that's better than i could ever do even though the top of the head kind of not proportionate <laughs> good job grandma Dude, Mrs. Puff, that girl got issues. I just wanted to tell y'all, I've seen so many conspiracy theories that are true. I've seen the clips that she probably gave a student a license when she shouldn't have, and he probably killed someone with vehicular manslaughter, and she went on the run, changed her name, started a new school, and now SpongeBob gives her PTSD her whole life. Like, I'm not giving you a license, Spongebob, because he is a terrible driver. Come on, guys. He doesn't deserve a license. Some people shouldn't drive. When your friend who uses Instagram shows you a meme, bruh, you are so behind. Like, I've seen this before 11 times, as a matter of fact. I saw it two years ago. Girl, you are so behind. Get your memes from TikTok. Even Pinterest is ahead of Instagram. When you're cutting paper and the scissors start gliding, that's such a good feeling, but it comes out of nowhere and you're just like, okay, let's go. It's like when your dog starts running when you have him on a leash and you just gotta go with him because you're not strong enough to hold him back. That happened to my aunt once with her dog. He saw a bird or something and he just booked it so hard. Yanked the leash out of her hand, but honestly, if she held on, it would have pulled her arm out of the socket. Sometimes you just gotta let go. My dad walked in and he saw my Google background and then he walked away. What the heck? This is like top tier random creepy. <laughs> Ma'am, stop yelling. Do you want to be in the video? Hold on, let me see if I can. He wants to be in the video. Guys, y'all have met Cold Brew. Hello. Guys, meet Cold Brew. He wants to be in the video. He's so cute. All right, ma'am. Hello. We gotta chill here now. But yeah, this background is like not it. I wouldn't even do that, it's weird. I'm gonna be distracted for the whole video now. You want, you were screaming at me to be let out and now you wanna go? No, don't run away, stop, stop. You have to stay here. You wanna go back in the cage? He just being nosy. What school tries to turn us into. They, they don't have these hopes for us. They are just a machine to turn us into perfect little employees. They don't want us to be successful and actually get rich. All right, I'm putting him back in the cage. He's squirming. I remember I wanted to be a doctor at one point. I was like, I'm gonna cure every cancer ever. I wanted to be a lawyer at one point. I wanted to be really smart, but then I turned into this. School actually turns us into anxious, depressed individuals just trying to figure out what we're doing in life. 
When you realize that you can cross over Thanos memes with Spongebob memes, imagination is whatever I want. No, I don't like this. I'm uncomfortable with this. Ew. Why is he purple? <laughs> do it for the vine. <laughs> no, do it for the TikTok. You millennial. You're so old. <laughs> Me, I can't wait to do so much over winter break with all my free time. Yeah, right. Me the entire break. I'm just munching on Jack in the Box burger at three in the morning, <laughs> not sleeping. <laughs> my parents would still make me go to bed by like 10 p.m. at the latest over break. Like, why do you care? Let me stay up. <laughs> me rereading my own post every time someone likes it. Ah, yes, quality content, good, good stuff. <laughs> and I'm also double checking for spelling and grammar issues <laughs> cause I miss some stuff until I read it like 10 times and then I catch it. <laughs> what inspired you to make a remake of The Lion King? Money. It was just money. I think the live action Lion King was trash. It was garbage. The animation's way better. They cut out so much stuff in the live action. It hurts, but they just did it for money because they knew people would go watch it. <laughs> when you can see the new barber messing up your cut in the mirror, but have to act like he's doing a good job. Like just say something. I get it. I'm too nervous to say anything and like hurt their feelings. And then they'll like spit on my head. And I'm like, ah, oh, it'll grow back out. It's fine. I'll just go somewhere different next time. <laughs> like I said, just take a little off the top, not half my head. <laughs> when you Google the homework and the answers are online. <laughs> I remember in class one time, a kid told the teacher, oh, Miss Smith, I looked up the test and I found the answers online. Like don't tell the teacher, tell us. <laughs> Bruh, we trying to cheat too. <laughs> When I use my mom's phone, brightness all the way up, volume screeching loud, notifications unanswered, font size huge because they're old and blind, and the tabs, dude, why do adults not know how to close tabs? And they're like, why does my phone only last like an hour when I charge it? Because you leave everything open. <laughs> Just close it. When you're in an online argument and see rest in peace mom in the bio, you know what? I don't care. Like, I'm sorry that such your mom died, but it doesn't give you the right to be a jerk. I'm still gonna call you out on your BS. Don't use that as an excuse. I don't feel bad. You're a jerk and you're wrong. <laughs> when the teacher asks the class a question and you act like you're trying to figure it out so they don't call on you for not paying attention. Nah, they know. They either pick someone who's not paying attention or they pick at random to see if you're actually paying attention. They just know. Like, why do you care? Just ask yourself. <laughs> When you have three projects due at 11.59 p.m. and it's 12.17 a.m. You late, gotta email the professor, <laughs> try to get the extra credit, <laughs> like you messed up. <laughs> when someone thinks I'm not picking up on their passive aggression and snide remarks, but they're actually only one snotty bleh, comment away from receiving my 20 years of pent up rage. Like I am just praying that I run into a Karen that says something in front of me and I can just unleash everything on her. Like girl, you, your mama, you're both ugly. When you catch your homie playing the song he said he didn't like when you showed it to him. And it's like a girly song. Like why are you embarrassed that you like a girl song? What's the problem? It's music, it sounds cool. And it's like, yeah, I knew you liked it. But that's it. Hope you liked the video and hope you liked meeting Cold Brew again because he was screaming and wanting attention like me. That's why we're perfect for each other. As always, please subscribe, uh, like and share the video, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time.